Hello, hello and welcome to the City Tree. Happy Friday, if it's Friday with you. Um, yes, welcome to Studio Vlog number 26. And what I thought I would do today is to take you down to the studio and kind of show you what I'm doing there to prepare for a workshop that I'm running on Saturday. The workshop is somewhere else, which is quite good because at the moment the studio is a bit of a mess as we're in that kind of messy middle stage of redoing the studio loo so it will have a proper sink and a water heater and shelves and all kinds of wonderful things. But obviously that means that everything is a bit guddly. But I know you won't mind. And I can show you what kind of samples I'm putting together and show you how I'm using the heat press and that kind of thing. So I will take you down there in a minute but first of all I'm going to drink my coffee, I'm going to maybe do a couple of rows of my scarf which look how much progress I have made from last week and this is because I've been doing a lot of zooms and um, admire the sweet peas because is there anything that quite smells like sweet peas and then we'll go down through the garden off to the studio These are wood seeds and at this time in their life cycle they won't um, dye fabric but I'm wanting to see whether they will give me some marks from my heat press. And here are some flowers so I'll collect some of them as well. This is where I have got to in my quilted piece. You can see these are all um, hexagons. These are two and a half inch hexagons. And I'm making up these flowers. So basically um, three tiers of hexagons going out. And then that will be surrounded by white. I started off seeing whether I wanted to have two of the hexagons in between each thing. Um, but I've decided that I just want one, so these are going to be sewn together. And each of the flowers is made from a single plant. So this is Sweet Sicily, this is um, Rose Bay Willow Herb, this is Wild Raspberries, and this one is Mare's Tail. And then today I'm going to start printing the fabric for the one that's going to be wood flowers. First I'm going to try a sample piece of fabric just to double check that this is going to work. So I'll put some of the, kind of the dark seeds on and some of the wee bits of flower and a little bit of the unripe seeds. Now I don't want to be doing lots of printing and then find that it doesn't work. Here we can see the dark dried seeds have given a really nice dark play. But the flowers 
and the unripe seeds really are not impressive. So I'm just going to concentrate on using the dark ones. And I'll set up this to begin planting the uh, hexagons. Then I'm going to cut these out and take them over to the heat press and see whether that wood will make nice marks on them. All I'm wanting is something that is slightly different in the middle to these ones that are in the outside. So I'm tending to do that with just density of printing. So with this one, I think that what I'll do so I'll just put many more of these. So really squash them onto the middle one. But then, with the ones that are going around the outside, I will probably just put one or two of these. And you see that I'm trying to kind of give them a bit of a direction but I don't want it to all be too formulaic um, it will be very easy to make it um, make this about a bit. pull some of them off because I don't want it to be all too clumpy there, and then just two more I have a workshop that I'm doing on Saturday and I'm going to take some of these word seeds to that because um, they do give a rather nice unusual colour. Right. Put that there and then let's pack it all up into its sandwich. Somebody at a workshop that I did the other day was saying that this was just a bit like making toasties. And I think that's very right. beautiful um, embossed paper. You can see some of them have gone very very blue. <gasps> Look at that one from the middle, absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm going to dry them off really quickly on my vintage iron press. Um, And then down. The reason that I want them to dry off really quickly is that that stops any chance of them the colour spreading. Because I'm using a tablecloth, you know, it's not like new fabric, it's not got as much sizing. Um, Look, really beautiful mottled colour of the wood. Look at this one. It's gorgeous. And now I have to make these into little hexagons and sew them all together. So I'm going to go up to the house now and start to put these together as hexagons so you can see them. But I just wanted to show you why I think this might be a really interesting technique for people doing homewares or um, fashion because you have so much control over it. If we look at this one here, this is Tagetes Palida. You could build that up over a length of fabric, different 
flowers, but pretty much the same. Um, you see, <laughs> poppies are rather ghostly. But the um, raspberry leaves and the willow herb and the fuchsias are just glorious. So I'm looking really for somebody who does fashion or something. It's sort of like more um, of a textile person working in form or homewares or something like that to see whether we can do a collaboration. Um, I'll give you another look at all of those hexagons. Labour of love. Now I have the first seven of these all sewn around little paper hexagons and I'm going to start to put them together to make that first flower. Um, I'm just going to sit here and do that. Uh, you can probably hear the rain and it just shows what a brilliant spot this situtery is because it's quite warm but it is very wet outside now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just sit and sew these and then I will show you it all at the end. And there is the finished sort of like middle part of the circle. And you can see what I'm wanting is to get kind of a feeling of those plants. So, you know, you get all of these beautiful, beautiful um, tadpole bits of the road. But I'm not particularly wanting it to look like a set photograph of the road wanting to kind of like mix it up into a kaleidoscope. So over the next week I'll be doing the next one round and I'll be able to show you it. Um, in the meantime, uh, two things. Uh, remember that I'm doing a giveaway on um, of five books and that's the bit where you need to enter, the comments you need to enter are on last week's blog. And the other thing is, we're just sort of, it's the beginning of July, we are beginning a new month of the Studio Club. And if you're wanting to know what we're doing in July, I have put together a little video. So I will link to that. And then I will see you next Friday. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>